Hello everyone and welcome back. As always, I'm your girl, Candy Washington. And before we dive into today's Kiki, which is Vile Kyle, ugh, she is just being so thirsty and is doing the absolute most before filming continues with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She's weighing in on Lisa Renna being fired whether or not she's talking to Kathy and who she wants to come back and who she doesn't. But before we dive in, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. Check out our description box down below. We have a free newsletter, a podcast, movies, books, and courses as well. So go ahead and treat yourself. So with that, let's dive right on in. A quick shout out to a couple of channel members. Hey, Juanita, not only Kyle Vile um, that she is, but she's also delusional. AG says at Juanita agreed. Kyle is very delusional. Shout out to the channel members. All right, let's dive in. This is according to Reality Blurb. It says Kyle Richards and Lisa Vanderpump's return rumors, who she wants back, and feeling anxious ahead of filming. Plus, is she worried about ratings after Rena's exit? Kyle Richards is addressing ongoing rumors claiming Lisa Vanderpump could be returning to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills for season 13. Before revealing if Lisa Rena's exit from the show has her worried about a ratings drop, Kyle reacted to Vanderpump's recent hangout with Sutton Strack in Paris, which fueled reports of her potential return. She revealed which two former housewives she liked to see come back to the show. There were so many housewives in Paris, Kyle told E! News at the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women Red Dress Collection concert on Wednesday. Wow, that's a mouthful. Anyway, let's keep going. I know they are. I know that they have sparked rumors, but there was just so many housewives, current and ex, there that it was kind of funny. They kept bumping into each other all over the place. I was getting the text messages. Side note: This is giving Kyle is really having FOMO. You know, fear of missing out. It seems like she has to be like everyone was there. They're bumping into each other. It's totally fine. I was getting text messages. Because she is feeling like, because she wasn't there, she wasn't in Paris, she wasn't hanging out, I feel like she has, like, FOMO, and she's really trying to act like she's still in a loop. Girl, nobody wants to hang out with you, Kyle. Nobody. Erica's not checking for you. Rena's not checking for you. Kathy's not checking for you. Sutton's not checking for you. Vanderpump isn't checking for you. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. You know, it's like... It's like back in high school when there was a party and one person wasn't invited. That is the vibes that Kyle is giving. But let's keep going. While seeing that Vanderpump was in Paris with Sutton at the same time that Rena was there with Erica, see what I'm saying? Convinced many that a Vanderpump return was possible. Kyle doesn't want to see Kyle doesn't seem to be on board, noting that despite their recent run-ins, they aren't exactly cordial. We're good where we are now, Kyle said of the current Real Housewives of Beverly Hills cast. I have a lot of important people in my life that love me and care about me and support me, and I'm good. Kyle, shut the hell up. And this is why, see, this is why we don't like you, Kyle, because you lie. Tell the truth. You wanted to be friends with Lisa Vanderpump again, but she said, no, thank you, ma'am. And you know how we know that? Remember when Kyle, and this was like last week or so, was posting the throwbacks to season nine of her and Lisa Vanderpump together being like, oh, you know, throwback to season nine. And it was Lisa and Todd and Kyle and Mauricio. And they were laughing and kicking in the back of some car or whatever. So if you're so good with the cast the way it is now, if you have all these people in your life that love and support you, why were you tagging and, you know, doing throwback photos and videos and all that stuff to Lisa Vanderpump? Are you jealous? Because you always say you're so, quote, close to Sutton. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what you say. Off screen, me and Sutton are such good friends. Are you pissed because Sutton and Vanderpump are hanging out and Vanderpump doesn't mess with you and you thought you and Sutton were such good friends? Girl, bye. Just admit it. It's like when you break up with somebody 
and you're you're posting subliminals on Instagram, hoping that they see them and like text you or something, you know, like you were trying to throw a subliminal to Lisa Vanderpump so she could text you. She's not going to text you if you up, Kyle. She's not going to text you if you up. It's not going to happen. She doesn't want to be with you anymore. OK, let it go. So don't now act like, oh, we're good. We're good. We're good on who we have. I don't want Vanderpump to come back. Girl, bye. Shut all the way up. Shut all the way up. It's crazy, girl. She she just, she's, listen, she's just not that into you. But let's go. So then Kyle says, listen, I'm nostalgic, you know, and it's not lost on me that Lisa was great on the show. Again, it's like she's trying to get her ex back and they've just moved on. Kyle continued on Vanderpump's potential return during a conversation with Hollywood Life. And we had a great relationship while it lasted, but you know, I think we have a strong cast as it is. Side note, Kyle, I'm confused. You keep saying you, you think you have a strong cast as it is. Who exactly is the cast? Because Bravo hasn't even yet confirmed who exactly everyone who's coming back. The only thing that's really been confirmed is that Lisa Renna is fired. It's been pretty much assumed on good authority that, you know, Garcelle's coming back, Sutton's coming back. Crystal's coming back with her, like, 14, 14 friend or whatever the hell it is. Erica's coming back. Kyle's coming back, obviously. But are there new people? Is there an extra person? Like, what about Dorit? Ding Dong Dorit has been very silent. So you keep saying we're good as it is. But can you confirm exactly who as it is really is? And also, is everybody confirmed to have a diamond? Because sometimes Bravo will say, you know, come do your thing. And then after a couple of, you know, episodes or scenes or filming, then we'll decide whether or not you're just a friend of or full time. That's what they did with Taylor in the OC. They did it with Jackie in New Jersey. So just, you know, tell us the truth, Kyle. Now let's keep going. As for who she would like to see back, Kyle named Kim Richards and Teddy Mellencamp. I would love to see my sister Kim Richards come back. I would love to see Teddy, Teddy Mellencamp come back. I don't know. I think probably Kim and Teddy, I would say she shared. Kyle, stop lying. You don't want Kim back. You don't want Kim back. You don't want Kathy back. You want to be the only one of your sisters on that show. I do think you want Teddy back because she's your little mouthpiece wind-up doll. But I don't think you want your sister Kim back. You're lying. You're saying that because... You already got so much backlash for not for Kathy that if you didn't say Kim, you would be hated even more. But your family isn't checking for you. And stop lying. You don't want Kim back. Let's keep going. During a third interview, so Kyle is making the rounds, Kyle admitted that when it comes to the upcoming 13th season of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, she's feeling anxious. Excited isn't necessarily the word I would use, but I feel the, the but but I love the people that I work with. I love working with the network and the production and all those people are like family to me now, she told people. So I rely on them and that I have relationships with them. It's funny because I haven't had anxiety in a while and just talking about the show tonight, it started kicking up again. She continued. Well, then, Kyle, if you have all this anxiety, then get off the show. Like, shut up. I don't I don't have any sympathy for you Kyle if you're so anxious you've all the anxiety get off the show like that's the thing you and Mauricio have skimmed scammed frauded and schemed your way to all the millions of dollars that you guys have so get off the show nobody is asking you to be on the show nobody is forcing you like that's what I don't like about that about people who do stuff like that it's like if you already have you know money and the means and it's not a necessity you're, and you're only really doing it for ego, then get off the show or shut up. Because I tell you, there's, our, there's a lot of people who would love to be on the show and they wouldn't sit around and complain about their anxiety. And obviously, it goes without saying, but I'm going to say it, I by no means am disrespecting people with any type of mental health thing when it comes to anxiety or depression or anything like that. Obviously not. Obviously, I'm not, but I wanted to put that disclaimer out there. I'm talking specifically about Kyle and her immature, deflecting antics, okay? I'm going to be very clear on that. If someone is truly suffering from anxiety, my heart goes out to you. I love you. Get support. Get help, okay? Let's keep going. 
So it's funny because, oh, that's right. Although Kyle thinks about her future on the show, quote, all the time, she noted that the Real Housewives franchise is kind of like a mafia. You get sucked back in. What can I tell you? She asked. As for whether or not she's concerned about the show's post rena ratings, Kyle confirmed she is not. So Kyle is actually, for the first time, shading Lisa Renna. It's about freaking time. How long did it take you, wacko Kyle? Over these 13 years, we've had a cast members come and go, and the show is still number one, she reasoned. So, of course, Lisa brought some of us to the show a lot, and she'll be missed by cast and audience alike. But we always somehow, I don't know, here we are 13 years later, and the show is still number one. It's about freaking time. Kyle got a backbone. You know that Kyle actually got a backbone and s- stepped up to Lisa Renna. However, I still got to call Kyle out on her BS. And I'm going to tell you why. Kyle is finally talking about Lisa Renna. You know, oh no, we don't need her for the ratings, X, Y, and Z. Kyle is only saying that publicly. Because Kyle knows how much she is despised and how much disdain we now have for her. And I think Kyle is really on her apology tour, trying to get back in the good, in the good graces of everybody. <coughs> Sorry. One second. And is really focused on reputation rehab. That's why I think she said she wanted Kim Richards to come back, which I think is a bold face lie. Is Kim even talking to you, Kyle? Is she taking your calls? I don't think so. Kathy's not. You said you wanted Kim to come back because you wanted to save face. Because you knew that if you only said you wanted Teddy to come back, we would be out here shading you for filth. I don't believe for one second that's the truth. You're doing damage control. Now, do I think you actually think Lisa Renna is going to affect the ratings? No. But I think the fact that you're now shading her in public is because, A, Lisa Renna was actually fired from the show. And you're trying to distance yourself from her now publicly because she was actually fired. And like you said in the three interviews you did, you're still thirsty and desperate to stay on the show. And at this point, it's not for money. It's for ego. You want to keep your 15 minutes of fame going. So you want to distance yourself from the person who just got fired. And also because Lisa Renna gets so much. (coughs) One second. One second. Sorry. Also because Lisa Renna gets so much smoke, as she should. It's deserved smoke. You don't want the blowback. But do I think in your hearts of heart, you actually care about Lisa Rinna either way? No. I also think a part of you realized that you thought you were playing Lisa Rinna for the last few years, but now you finally came to the realization that she was playing you the entire time. Lisa Rinna really thought she could become the queen of Beverly Hills, that she would somehow become the HBIC. Obviously, that didn't work out for her. Now, let's talk about Kyle and Kathy. Let's talk about Kyle and Kathy because Kyle has admitted that her and Kathy still are not even on speaking terms. So this is according to page six. Kyle Richards is still not on speaking terms with sister Kathy. Things still aren't hunky-dory for Kyle and Kathy. Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Kyle Richards reveals she's still not on speaking terms with her sister Kathy after the show's explosive reunion, which aired last October. I haven't seen her in a while. I have not seen her in a while, the Halloween star 54 exclusively told Page Six at the American Heart Association's Red Dress event. Things are not great since the reunion, to be honest, she admitted. The strife between when Lisa Renna claimed Hilton 63 had a, quote, psychotic breakdown during a cast trip to Aspen, which wasn't caught on camera. Renna alleged that the socialite mom of Paris and Nikki Hilton hurled a slew of insults at her Real Housewives of castmates, including, shockingly, her sister Kyle, whom she reportedly vowed to effing ruin. She said, I will destroy Kyle and her family if it's the last thing I ever do. Renna claimed in a subsequent confessional, which we all know pretty much is probably a lie. 
Hilton vehement, vehemently denied Rena's account of, of that night, saying she was, quote, set up by the actress and Erica Jane, which we now know is true. Kathy Hilton was set up by Lisa Renna and Erica Jane. Days later, Hilton called out her sibling for weeping at the reunion when she claimed to have felt attacked all season. Why is she upset and crying? I'm the one who was bullied and persecuted for 10 months, the socialite wrote in response to a comment posted on Instagram that showed concern for Richards. You know, me and Kathy Hilton are in lockstep. That's exactly what I was saying. Stop boo-hooing and crying and playing the victim in your anxiety. For what, Kyle? Nobody is forcing you to be on the show. To be honest, we don't even want you on the show. Girl, bye. So, should have had your sister's back. You should have been there. You were beefing with your sister. Keep it behind the scenes. But in public, you needed to have her back and hold her down. That's why you got played the hell out of Lisa Renna. And that's why now you're doing damage control. You're losing weight like a freaking lunatic. You're, you're shooting up, you know, diabetic medicine in your body. You're looking crazy as hell. You got four or five nose jobs, four tattoos, dyeing your hair, losing weight, having attacks. Girl, bye. You're a hot mess. To be honest, Bravo really shouldn't bring you back given the behavior you're displaying. You're behaving like somebody who's having a breakdown. You can't even talk properly. You get those little knots in your throat and you can't talk and you cry and you weep and you do this, that, and the third all over the place. You really are a mess, Kyle, to be honest. And as much as I have disdain for your character and your and, who, and how you treat people, as a human being, I actually have concern for you because you look like you're freaking spiraling and you're having a, a, a breakdown and your husband, Mauricio, in my personal opinion, could really care less. He's out here looking like a fool doing interviews talking about Kyle is going to be so sexy. Kyle's getting in the best shape of her life. She's been walking a lot. Shut up, ding dong, Mauricio. And I'm calling him ding dong because he's probably hanging out with ding dong Dorit instead of getting his wife the mental help that she needs. Like everything else aside, I have genuine concern for Kyle. Something, something's going on. You don't lose that much weight. You don't do all this surgery. You don't get the tattoos. You don't not be able to complete sentences, you know, this whole entire, in this amount of time. It's been so quick. You know, we really saw her devolve so quickly. And Mauricio doesn't give a damn. He's off living his best life, dipping it and doing it with Ding Dong Dorit. Talking about my wife has lost all this weight because she's walking. What? 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 On what planet do you live on, Mauricio, where you think Kyle looks like a freaking 10 year old child because she's walking every day? Get, ugh, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. They're get, I'm on one right now. I'm on one because it's like the lies, the lies, the lies. And they're not even good with the lies. Like, I'm really on one right now. I'm on one. I haven't talked about Beverly Hills in this way in a while. We did Erica Girardi stuff. So anytime I talk about Beverly Hills, you guys know me. I get on one. I get on one. All right, let's keep going. Hilton added, just cruel and disgusting. A rep later clarified, yeah, we knew that part. Okay. So yeah, they're not even talking. It's that whole situation. All right. Stick around, candy canes, because I'm about to take your candy cane questions and comments, okay? So stick around. But everybody watching on the replay, I just want you guys to know, put it down below in the chat box. Put it down below. What do you think? You know, what do you think about Kyle? Do you think, like I do, where I just think that right now she's literally just doing damage control, saying that, you know, she's shading Rena, we don't need her for the ratings, you know, she is um, going after Kathy saying, yeah, we're not talking anymore, blah, 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 blah. And I also think she's doing damage control saying she wants her sister Kim Richards back. I don't think she does. I just think she knows she can't say not say Kim given the state of her relationship with Kathy and public opinion and public opinion. Also, what do you think about her shading LVP? Oh, we're good without her, blah, blah, blah. I think she's like a scorned lover. LVP broke up with you and she doesn't want to take you back. And so now you're acting out like, no, the breakup was mutual. I broke up with you first. No, LVP dropped you like a hot potato girl. Bye. And what do you think about Kyle saying she wants Teddy back? 
That I think is the only true thing Kyle has said in a very long time, because as we know, boring Teddy Mellencamp is her mouthpiece and, you know, her number one fan, wind her up and she'll say whatever you want. Put it down below. Stick around, Candy Canes. I'm about to take your questions and comments. But before you do that, you know what to do. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when we go live. Also, be sure to share this with a friend because a key key is always better with community. And check out the description box down below. Be sure to join our newsletter. It is free. Check out the podcast and our courses. So with that, you guys, let's take some of your candy cane question and comments. All right, let's do it. Dun, 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 dun. Shout out to Ch 